Most of us are aware that there is some sort of relationship between height and weight. This naturally leads to discussions about whether being overweight makes a person shorter, or whether decreasing weight might help them gain inches. The fact is that if you're only a few pounds overweight, losing those pounds won't make a significant difference in your height. But before we continue, if you appreciate all the information and the research that goes into making a video like this, it does help out tremendously if you hit the like button or hit subscribe. Thank you, and let's begin. Losing a large amount of weight, on the other hand, can benefit your height growth in a variety of ways. The science explaining the link between weight gain and height gain is also intriguing. Relation of losing weight and gaining height. Losing weight will not result in any height increase. This is because the body does not grow in height once you have reached your maximum amount of weight. So for post-pubescent folks, the actual height gain is nearly impossible. The best you can do is to make better use of the feet and inches you already have. This is why losing weight will not have any influence on your height. It only results in a decrease in the overall health of the person. But if there's more difference between your height and your width, you may look taller, thanks to the illusion of proportions. However, if you are very overweight, you will definitely experience some changes in your weight and body composition after losing several pounds of weight from your body. One obvious change would be a decrease in the percentage of body fat, which translates to an increase in lean mass on your overall body composition. This increases your overall physical health, and thus, accelerates the growth of long bones, which results in an increase in height. Underweight Affect Height Being underweight can impact the development of your height if you are not in a healthy weight range. This is due to the fact that there could be too much stress on the body leading to an early onset of growth or deceleration of growth once it has reached its maximum height. When you are underweight for a long time, your body will also experience immune suppression, which can further impact the growth cycle of your bones. Another side effect of being underweight is that it can cause a decrease in protein synthesis, which further affects the rate of growth. Underweight people are also susceptible to having a small bone structure when they reach their maximum height. This is why you must be in the normal weight range so your body can have an optimum growth cycle. Losing weight makes you look taller. Losing weight can improve your body's proportion. If you are overweight, you can look taller due to the illusion of proportions. However, if children are underweight, it may cause stunted growth. Even if you are not underweight, it is advisable to eat a balanced diet and exercise for healthy body composition. In the long run, you will look and feel healthier, and thus, become taller. When we lose weight, we can feel better about ourselves and appear more confident. As a result of enhanced self-esteem and body image, this adds to an overall sense of well-being, which can be translated into a rise in height. Relation of gaining weight and your height. While losing weight technically doesn't make you taller, Gaining weight to the point of clinical obesity can make you physically shorter without intervention. It is important to remember that gaining weight can affect your height. Studies have shown that contrary to traditional belief, obesity can contribute to weakened bone metabolism and structure. This can lead to osteoporosis, particularly in the hips, joints, and back. Osteoporosis happens when your bones get so weak that they bend and break super easily. Gaining weight on its own isn't going to make you shrink. However, Gaining a moderate amount of weight can have a positive impact on height. Muscle mass is what contributes the most towards the overall health of someone's body. As it grows, muscle mass is converted into height. Therefore, the best way to increase your height is by staying in a healthy weight range, which can promote an optimum growth cycle. Childhood obesity affects the height. Childhood obesity affects height negatively. When children become obese, their growth is affected by the hormonal changes that go along with the condition. They tend to sleep too little, don't sleep well, and eat more. All of these can lead to underdeveloped bones, which can affect height. If children begin to be obese at an early age, they may experience stunted growth due to short stature. Besides that, children who are obese may see a reduction in height due to poor tissue quality, which can lead to a decrease in bone quality and health. This decreases the rate of growth and development, which can cause complications that have an impact on height. It is recommended that children do not gain too much weight, which can lead to the early onset of growth. If obesity becomes severe and obese children develop health complications associated with obesity, they can experience stunted growth and even height reductions. 
How much do people who are overweight lose in terms of height? The answer to this question depends in part on how overweight the person is. If you are only overweight by around 10 to 15 pounds, it will not have any significant impact on your overall height. The most this may result in is some inches being added onto your width rather than your length, resulting in an illusion of being taller. However, some studies have shown that obesity can contribute to as much as 5 centimeters of height loss over the course of a lifetime, especially in the case of severe obesity. The amount of height lost in any one person is dependent on factors such as the person's genetic predisposition, body type, and how long they have been obese. One study showed that when obese subjects lost 10% of their body weight and maintained that loss for three years, they experienced a decrease in height by about two to four centimeters. Therefore, it is important to maintain a healthy weight to prevent any negative impact on your height. The effect of height on weight. Your height can also affect how much you weigh. As you get taller, your body increases in mass proportionately. Therefore, if you are taller than average, you will likely weigh more than someone of average height while having the same amount of muscle and fat. If your height is average or above, you will not only weigh the same amount of weight as someone of shorter stature, but you may even be thinner. As a result, if you become taller than the typical person, the average for your height, gaining weight will be more difficult than if you are of ordinary height. Losing or gaining weight can also affect your height. If you lose weight but remain below the recommended weight range for your height, you may still grow taller than someone who is in your appropriate weight range. As height is dependent on many factors, including genetics, hormones, and growth, it is possible to lose height if you are underweight. The effect of weightlifting on a height. Weightlifting by itself has no effect on your height. The only way it can affect your height is if you gain weight through the process of weight training. Weightlifting can also increase your height due to an increase in bone density. This means that weightlifting won't make you taller, but it can help you gain muscle that will give you an illusion of being taller. The more muscle you have, the longer your limbs will look. This makes it seem like your body is proportionately larger than someone of the same height with less muscle. Also, if you are more muscular, you may look thinner and more toned, which creates an illusion of being taller. As a result, weightlifting can help you appear taller while increasing your vertical reach. In conclusion, losing weight may not physically make you taller, but it can improve your posture and lead to many health benefits, such as better heart health, blood sugar control, better mood, improved sleep, and higher self-esteem. What's not to love about that?